of ADHD was uh, what uh, is referred to as the ADHD tax, where this can come down to impulse spending or buying stuff that has a short shelf life and you forget to use it and so it's gone. And that was just a waste of money there. And bits and bobs like that, that really add up over time. So to kind of help like help with that now, um, I kind of moved uh, all my pay that I get from my job into a Monzo account. I'm able just to make all these little pots, these little mini bank accounts within my main one that uh, I can just, as soon as I get paid, uh, it just automatically distributes uh, pay my my salary into various pots. The main one would be taxes. Then you have my bills. Say, for example, my video games. You know, they're so expensive now. It's easy to spend 70 quid when you look at your bank account and you see a large number in it, but you don't realize that by the end of the month, you needed that 70 quid to pay off a bill. What is so great for me now and it's been so positive on me for my mental health is I just go, oh, okay, I see a game. And then I look in my bank account. I look in my Monzo account. I look in my video games pot. And if I see 70 quid there, it means I have enough to buy a game. And that money was only ever for video games. So I know for a fact that if I spend that money, it's not going to affect anything else from all the other pots. I know I'm going to have the money to pay my bills, uh, money to pay my taxes at the end of the year. I got money saving up for my presents for Christmas time because that gets so expensive. It's been so um, so much easier for me, especially because of the impulse buying, um, that it's been it's able to allow me just to kind of take a breath. We're, we're still learning what works and what doesn't. We understood that she quite likes as a comfort thing. She likes to be enclosed or have, you know, be in small spaces. So she's we've emptied out the cupboard under the stairs. So when she feels very anxious or angry or frustrated, she now will go off into that little space and be in there for 10, 15, 20 minutes until she feels ready to come out and then she'll come out. And she, often she's absolutely fine and feels much more calm. So that's been a, a, a really good thing to have me recognizing some of the signs of her what she says she doesn't feel right we can't quite pick pinpoint what it is and how she's feeling but I will just say to her how are you feeling are you not feeling right and we'll just she'll want to cuddle and that kind of will just make her feel a bit more secure and that it's okay if she's not feeling okay we'll we'll deal with it and I'm sort of here to support her or we'll find a way to help her to kind of regulate herself I suppose.